Hi and welcome to my new channel, Coda Kid. On this channel you will be learning how to make games, applications and you will be also learning how to bake, draw things and do art projects. So in today's video we will be on code.org making a Flappy Bird game. So let's code. So when run, when hit the ground, when hit an obstacle, when pass an obstacle and when click. So when we click on run which is this button here we would usually see the background, the ground, the player and the score would usually start as zero. So let's code. So set the scene. So your scene could be underwater, center, cave, sky fi. Mine's going to be a city day. I have also made a Get Santa Past the Chimney app, which is a very good game. And I've also made Flappy Fish using the underwater background so now let's set the player my player will be a yellow bird you can click on this small arrow button here to find more things that you can have as your player now let's set the obstacle my obstacle will be a pipe you can have different obstacles too let's set the ground the ground will be a normal ground for me. You can have different ones like lava or cave. Now let's set a gap. This gap is a gap between each of your obstacles. So my gap is going to be normal. You can have a different size gap. Now let's set the gravity. My gravity will be normal. And of course the score will start as zero. Now let's set the speed. The speed of our player will be normal. You can have different speeds too. This is the speed of your player. My player is a yellow bird so it's the speed of my bird. So let's have a look at this one here. When hit the ground. So when our player hits the ground what will happen? Usually in the Flappy Bird game, the game ends, so let's drag end game, and you play a sound. So let's drag the play wing sound block. Now this sound can be smash, crunch, sad. You can have lots of different sounds. Mine is going to be smash. So, when we hit an obstacle, of course the game will end. And we can also play a sound. So, my sound will be a smash sound. So, let's have a look at this here. When we pass an obstacle, what will happen? When we pass an obstacle, we will score a point and we will play a point sound so when we click when we click on the screen we're going to flap you can choose how much you want to flap normal small very small large very large or random now mine's going to flap a normal amount and it plays a sound so mine is going to play a wing sound and that's our Flappy Bird game done. Now let's test it to see if we like it. We can change any of these if the game seems wrong. Let's run. That's a brilliant Flappy Bird game. So now we can reset it. We can first rename it. I am going to rename it to Flappy Bird and click on save. We can share it, you can send it to phone using your phone number or barcode and you can publish it. 
This publishes to the Project Public Gallery. Anyone in the world can view your project. So, I will publish mine. So, this is it for today's video. I hope you have a look at my next video. Bye!